Oh my god, is that radical? So here is Rowan Rascal. So what this game is actually is that it's a very inspired by 3D Sonic and also a bit of like Mario here and there too, like that Mario flair, but it's like heavily inspired and actually a huge love letter to Sonic. You see here too. And in fact, the, like, the creator of this game is the same guy who made Sonic GT, who which is actually a Sonic fan game that came out a while ago, which is really fun. And that's a tutorial right here too. So homing dash, basically the same as a homing attack and then drop kick. Okay, I guess it's a perfect way for the stomp and then uh, homing attack. Okay, and then pretty cool stuff here too. My controls like is really good. Then checkpoint and then uh, dash panel right here. Switch rails. That's so cool. Switch rails on the analog stick here too, which is nice. And then ball forms, basically like he rolls in the ball, just like Sonic. Pretty cool stuff. And he got some nice little momentum here too. And then rev up. So, so do this. Oh, so basically like the spin dash, just like Sonic. Yeah, you see like a lot of like Sonic influence here too, which is so cool. I'm so glad we're actually getting like indie 3D Sonic inspired games. It's so cool. And then home attack enemies, pretty cool. And then, oh, so you press uh, the X button, you can actually like override enemies and like shoot. And like shooting on enemies here too is so cool. Okay. Wait. Um. Uh, just like that. Huh. And also, like, I mean, you do lose a little bit of speed, but like, you still uh, get a bit of like speed. Like, you still move forward a bit. Pretty cool. Okay. So. <clears throat> Okay, oh, let's see, do that. Pretty cool. And there we go, that's the end of the tutorial. But yeah, this is not a promising start. All right, so here's the next stage. So, I absolutely love how the way the, this game controls. Like, it's so fluid, it's so tight, it's focuses so much on speed, too. It's so cool. For here, nice. It has like a nice sense of like speed and platforming. It's just so, so cool. For here. Oh, dash panel right here. Pretty cool stuff. Go over here. Oh yeah, definitely recommend like checking this game out. Like them out on Steam, so play it there if you own Steam and a PC. Try the game out for yourself. And yeah, I mean, if you want to support the game even more, then there's like Kickstarter that they have. I'll put in the description down below. But like, if you want to support the game even more, then I uh, recommend uh, donating to that Kickstarter. It's really cool stuff. But yeah, it's so cool we're actually getting like indie inspired 3D Sonic games now. Like this is another Sonic uh inspired game that was pretty good too, I heard. It's called Spark the Western Jester and it's made by one guy. And uh like for the looks of it, it looks really cool. I haven't played it for myself yet, but like it looks really fun. And it's not a Sonic in and, and it's not a Sonic indie game, but like uh it's by the like, people who made Sonic Mania. It's called Penny Spirit Breakaway, and it looks really good. Looking forward to that when it comes out. Definitely gonna stream it when it uh, drops, but like, yeah, it's by Christian Whitehead, who did Sonic Mania, and in fact, you know, he was working on Sonic fan games, you know, classic Sonic fan games before working on Sonic Mania and the remix of Sonic 1, 2, and CD. And I feel like the same thing here too with uh, Morgan Rascal, like, you have a guy that created a Sonic fan game, Sonic GT, and now it's, he's creating a official Sonic inspired game. That's like a homage to the 3D Sonic Adventure and like Mario. They're so cool. It's really cool seeing indie games inspired by like Sonic or like 3D platform. It's just so cool. And checkpoint over here. Okay, shoot. Oh my God. Do that. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. Tough. Okay, actually made up here. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Yeah, we'll more to see like, how the future holds of like Sonic like, Inspire games pretty much. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty. There's some good stuff right here. Okay, wait. Cool. What's over here? Another pathway. Oh, same pathways before. Wait, the overriding enemy part is just such a like a cool idea. I don't think any other platform I know of that like does that. I think if I can know of like probably like Crash of Titans and Mount Mutant, but I never like played those ones, so okay. 
Ooh, what's here? Oh, same pathways before. Tough. Yeah, the level here actually is like similar to the Sonic here level in terms of like level length, which I mean like not bad at all, honestly. Like I like Sonic levels are actually pretty long, but I don't like them like too too long. Like heroes, I love heroes, but like some stages can be on for a bit too long. Okay, finally. Okay, over here. Alright, sweet. You got some like really like really good level design right here. Like it, it might be so much of like Sonic Adventure. I love how like it also like refines the form even more, but like focusing on momentum, like a lot of momentum, like something that like, has been missing with Sonic for a long time now. I think the last Sonic game I know like momentum was probably uh, Sonic Heroes. Now before that, SA two. And also like rolling to a ball also gives you more speed too, just like Sonic. Very cool stuff. And back over here. Cool. Yeah, eight minutes is pretty interesting for a stage like this. But the gameplay is pretty fun too, so that's the best part about it. Okay. Oh, and the stage. Pretty cool stuff. Amazing stage. But yeah, that's the end of the demo. I recommend checking this game out. Go support it, and I'll catch y'all later.